What's up guys, it's Talha here. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a Revit plugin that allows us to communicate with our colleagues directly inside Revit. Before I get started, I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course. You can follow the first link in the description. Now let's get started. So to download this plugin first you need to open up the browser and then go to modelobjects.io enter now here as you can see you have this download plugin button just click on this and it will download plugins bundle here so the plugin is now downloaded so let's go to that folder and open this up and you can see here we got these three these three plugins here so for me I'm using uh, Revit 2019 so I will just extract this one here now close this and again you need to extract this zip file also so right click and then extract here and you will get this installation file here so right click on this and then install and then just click next you can read you can read this license agreement here then you can just click agree and then next and the plugin is now installed now let's open Revit so here first I will create a new project now to run the plugin we need to go to add-ins here and then you will find model objects so you can just click show and it will show us uh, this plugin here you can place this anywhere you like let's leave it here besides uh, this properties browser now the first thing which you need to do here is you need to create a new account so to create a new account you can just click register here and then you can just fill this form up and you will receive a verification link on your email so once you click on that it will start your uh, free trial so I have already created a, an account so I will just log in so in your first login you will find this uh, demo project here which you get with this plugin now to load your own project you need to go here and click on this plus icon then let's name it project number whatever it is and then in the description I will just put classical house then add now you can see the new container is now created here so to load your own project you can just click on this and then right click and upload file let's select this file and then open and you can see the project is now loading here it will take some time it actually depends on the file size now to invite the people to work on this project first you need to add the contacts so to add the contacts you can just go here and click on this add new contact button and then just put the email of the person you want to invite to work on this project then click add to list you can add as many emails as you want then we can just click send invites and it will give us this dialog invite successfully sent then you can just click ok and that person will receive an email once he accept our invitation we can see him in the contacts list here so that person uh, accepted our invitation and we can see him in the contacts here so now let's invite this guy to work on this project so to do that you can just go here again and the project 14 and then right click and then invite member and in this uh, in this dialog we will see all the contacts which we have so for now I have only one 
so I will invite him to work on this project so just check this box and then click add member and then he will receive an invitation again once he accept our invitation we can see him in the team tab here so basically in this team tab we will see all the people working on this project so now to start the conversation first we need to select any of the objects here so let's select this one this column then go to object chat here and you can see this family name is already showing here now let's say you want to ask something about this so you can just go here and type whatever you need to ask so you can just type check the size of this column So as you can see this guy did not understand which column I am talking about so this plugin has a solution for this kind of a situation so we can actually send the screenshot so I will just zoom out here you can see this column is already selected so I can just go here click on these three dots then you can just select screenshot and you can see the screenshot has now been sent now let's talk about the feature number two which this plugin has and that is creating tasks so let's say you wanna assign uh, you wanna assign some tasks to a particular person or a particular team you can easily do that by using this plugin so to create the task you can just go here and type the task which you want to assign work on garage then enter now to turn this text into a task you can just right click on this and select uh, create task and you will get this uh, task successfully created and to view the task you can just go to this task tab here let's stretch this now to assign this task to a person you need to select that and then click on this assign task button and again this contacts list will open you can select the person which you want to assign to this task so let's select this guy and then assign now the third and the best feature this plugin has is that we can easily share our files with our colleagues so as you can see here this guy is asking for a garage door family and a wall texture so let's send him these files you can just go here and then select add file here and you can see it's showing only the texture here the jpeg file so you can just go here and change that to all files and let's select this garage door open and it's actually uploading it's not showing here but you will see in a minute there you go the file has now been sent now let's send him the texture file as well So as you can see we have sent him the texture file as well so these were the main features of this plugin by the way they have their own web application as well it means you don't need to use revit to have the conversation here you can just log into their web application and you will find all these uh, projects and everything there as well so for more details you can check out their website i will put the link in the description so that's it for this tutorial i hope you you'll try out this plugin and don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on the post notifications and yeah see you guys in the next video